Hey guys, Ali here from Traxxas RCC, giving you a how-to video on how to change your rear A-arms on your slash two-wheel drive. First thing you want to do is get that tire off. Okay? Once you get that tire off, you're going to see that there's a silver screw here holding in the rear hub carrier. So you take that out. It is a 2.5 Allen wrench screw. Okay? This screw is a smaller version of the silver screw. You can see it's just got threading in the top. Okay, and you can see that the rear hub carrier comes right up. Now the next thing you want to get out of here is the shock, black screw holding the shock in. You can go ahead and take that out. Okay, once you get that shock out, this is a black screw. It's about, it's about that big. It's not very big. And put that to the side. Now the last screw holding this rear air arm in is the silver screw right here. That is a 2.5 Allen wrench screw. Go ahead and take that out. Okay. Once you take that screw out, it is a very long screw. It's threaded at the top like the other silver one, just a lot longer. And that's the only thing holding in this rear A arm. You see now, there's no rear A arm here. So, from there, since I'm just going to go obviously ahead and use the same one, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that the side that faces the front has these five screws right here. On the back, there's only three screws. Make sure the three screws point the back, five screws point front. Also, there is an L on here. That obviously means left. This is the left side. The right one is going to have an R on it. Make sure that you do put it all on the right side. Because if you don't, then it's not going to work right. It's not going to drive well, if you can even find a way to fit it in there. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back on. So, you can go ahead and line it up. Get this big silver screw. And get it through. Okay, once you get that through, you can go ahead and screw it in. It's a 2.5 Allen wrench screw. You can go ahead and screw that in now. Okay, once you screw that in, you can go ahead and screw the shock back in. Now, the stock Traxxas A-arms do have five, like I said, in the front. The stock um, placement for the rear shock on the bottom is two from the left, so one, two. I am running on street, so I do have it on the third one from the left. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the third one from the left. Now remember, this is a 2.0 Allen wrench screw, and it is your black screw. Okay, once you screw that screw in, the last screw to screw in is this little smaller silver one with threading just at the top on the rear hub carrier. Now, you do want to use the bottom hole, that's where it goes through on the stock. You can put it on the top hole if you want to change your settings when you drive. I'm just going to keep it stock, so that's how I run it. And this, remember, this is a 2.5 Allen wrench screw. Okay, from there, I'm just going to go and put the tire back on so you can see it. Okay, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and make sure and move it around just to make sure it's not loose or anything. Go ahead and lift up the shock just to make sure it's all connected. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. Thanks very much.